Yo what's up guys welcome to a brand new video on my channel Today I'm going to review these helmets As well as tell you my experiences with wearing these helmets at other races in Europe So let's begin You know how I like it when you love it on me I don't wanna dive in and miss me Guess I see the things that they wishing on me Hope I got some brothers that I live me They gon' tell the story, shit was different with me God's plan, God's plan I hold back sometimes I won't, yeah. Fox released their completely redesigned Rampage Pro Carbon 2019 helmet a couple months ago. The helmet known as RPC has been worn by me for a little while right now. On YouTube I couldn't find any reviews so I reckon I made my own for you guys. The helmet comes in with a price of 500 euros at the time this video is uploaded. So for a high end helmet this pricing fits very well. I received the Beast Metallic Silver and the White a little while ago. But there are many more colorways out there and these are available as small, medium, large and extra large. Sized Rampage Pro Carbon weights 1250 grams on my scale. Compared to the old one that weighed at 1220 grams, this isn't a huge difference. Once it's on, it basically feels like there's no difference. External tech like the magnetic visor system, fluid inside, and far resorb makes this helmet very special compared to other helmets I've worn in the past. More in-depth information of the materials and other systems that are involved in this helmet, I'll link you to all the information in the description down below. And for now on, I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of this helmet. And this is probably what you've been waiting for. The pros are the stiff cage chin bar and eye port which is intended to improve energy absorbing in the event of an impact and optimizes airflow for the rider. This gives the user a safe feeling of wearing this helmet. The ultra ventilated design to increase airflow works very well. Right away it felt way more ventilated compared to the older version. The magnetic visor release system that allows the visor to release from the helmet in the event of a crash while securely staying in place when needed. At first I was a little nervous to mount the GoPro under the visor but eventually it was no problem at all. Cons I encountered are small helmet camera mounting spaces on and under the helmet visor. Sometimes the noise is quite loud because of ventilation system. Again, this is my experience with racing. At last, not that easy to put on as the older RPC. But other than that, I didn't find any downfalls with this helmet. By the way, I'm not paid to say this. I do am sponsored by Fox Racing, but they've not asked me to make this review or tell any good things about this certain helmet. So keep that in mind. And last but not least, I hope I informed you very well about this new helmet that Fox Racing released. If you have any questions from mounting the GoPro to your helmet or sizing or anything, comment it down below and uh, I'll probably answer it. So uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. What the actual... Look at this. Guys, I was, I'm recording this video. And look what is here. Look, look. You see this? What? I'm like, what the hell? Look at this. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? My friend. How are you doing? How are you doing? I was like, what's the sound? Maybe there's people walking here. But well, that was the video of today. <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs> 